what was the first part of what you said? Just, just before the overtime, what was the reason you felt like the game was that close? You were going to come back and, and it got to that point. Which was... Yeah, I mean, our, our guys competed, you know. Um, they fought. Uh, you know, Houston, you know, played really well. Give the, their young guys credit. You know, those guys came out and competed and, you know, we get everybody's best, best shot and, you know, those guys played terrific. Uh, but our guys, uh, you know, stayed with the game and, you know, we had too many, too many defensive breakdowns throughout the game, the controllable things that, that we have to be better with. But, uh, you know, our guys fought and it just wasn't enough. You know, LeBron came in with a sore knee and didn't have his typically efficient night on offense. So what did you see from him overall? Yeah, just a tough, tough night, uh, you know, shooting the ball, you know, obviously from, from deep one for nine and, um, you know, had a couple in the paint, you know, that could have gone, but, you know, I mean, he just, he's given us everything he has, you know, obviously a really a terrific game, even though he didn't shoot the ball that well, you know, made a lot of defensive plays and, and obviously a triple double. Frank, I want to ask you about a couple of the shot decisions down the stretch in the fourth quarter. There was a um, long LeBron three, there was a Russ pull up jumper. Both of those had a lot of time left on the shot clock and then, LeBron, at least on the angles, and there was some replay angles. It looked like he kind of was near the rim when he found that low. I don't know if any of those. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like Brian was under the basket. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, he's got Carmelo Anthony wide open on the backside. So if he doesn't feel like he's, you know, got an angle to finish, he's going to make the extra pass. He did. We got a great look. And, um, you know, the other guys, I mean, you trust, trust your best players, you know, to – you know, to uh, to make those decisions down the stretch. Yeah. Frank, you talked kind of to me about the, the way that you guys have had to go in one direction and, and the problems it causes on the backside, you know, by playing smaller and playing more offensively minded. You, know, you guys score 130 points tonight. I, I guess is the pendulum close to swinging back where you're, you're considering making more defensive minded adjustments? Or is this kind of the path that you view as best for this team? Well, we're talking about defense every every game. You know, um, you know, we're not trying to, you know, be perfect on defense or perfect on offense. We're trying to put a group out there that can they can match up and win a basketball game. You know, so um, you know, I'm not sure. You know, we're we're working on both sides of the ball. Frank, one of the things perfect in overtime. That's obviously difficult to overcome. But you know, were, what did you think of the looks Houston is getting? Where you was that? How much of that was? them getting hot at the right time versus the way you guys were defending their shots. Yeah, I mean, I got to see, um, you know, see the tape for all of them. I know the one in front of our bench was uh, we got crossed up between being in coverage and being in a in a switch. Um, you know, and two guys went with went the roller you know, and left a guy open. Um, I got to look at the tape to, as far as the other ones. But, um, I mean, seeing game, seeing going throws in a three, you know, I mean, it's, you know, like I said, I got to look at the tape for all those. Um, Russ, you know, with his high scoring game since Charlotte more than a month ago, what opened up for him in general, especially when you guys were um, taking lead in, in the late third and fourth? Well, they don't play with a, a lot of size, and, you know, they, they're not great at attacking the paint. I mean, I'm sorry, great at defending the paint. So, you know, we were winding our guys up to, to be aggressive, uh, living in the lane, and, you know, that's Russ's game. So, you know, have a team that is not great at, uh, at defending the paint, um, you know, Russ was able to get going inside. Is there a level of fatigue uh, with just not getting results? It's hard. You know, it's, uh, it is hard, you know, losing when you put pouring everything you have into trying to get some traction for this group. Uh, it's definitely hard, but, you know, we've got resolve. And uh, we know this is a tough stretch that, that we got to fight through, you know, until we can get healthy and um, you know, try to win as many games as we can. And obviously, we thought the the Golden State game was going to be one that could swing swing some momentum for us. And you know, we didn't win the next man up game in San Antonio. I thought we could get, capture it again tonight, but but fell short. Frank, kind of along those lines, um, you know, we had a triple. Even though LeBron was inefficient, we had a triple goal from him. Russ has. You know, as good of an offensive game as he's had in a long time. Um, why is it still so hard? I guess when when you know your stars are out there performing that way, it felt like I mean this game was close, really long like the entire game against the team that's. Well, it's it's like we talked about. You know, we're you know we're a few plays away. 
you know, and, and we didn't, didn't shoot, shoot the ball. They outshot us from the free throw line tonight. You know what I mean? There's a handful of plays here and there you can make um, that could swing it. Our guys are having, you know, those those types of out, offensive out, outputs because, you know, we're playing smaller and that creates, uh, you know, issues on the defensive side that, you know, we can be better uh, with that. In some ways, the small lineup matches up against, you know, teams that are playing small. Um, you know, we just got to just gotta make a handful more plays. Right, what are the prospects for LeBron on Friday? Yeah, we'll see how he's feeling. You know, I mean, it's, you know, it's been one of those situations where the morning after is sore and, you know, uh, by the by the next game, he's ready to go. You know, so, uh, you know, I would anticipate uh, that being the rhythm of it, but, you know, we'll see how it's, how it's feeling.